Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today, you've got Ella Toon on the pod. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm buzzing to have you on. I'm buzzing to be here. Thank you. I was waiting for that. I was like, come <laughs> yeah. on, give me some like, back. Mate. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thanks. You? I've recently got into women's football. Who right? do you support? Uh, well, I started off going, I looked online. I said, who's a good team? And they said Chelsea. So I started off with Chelsea. Oh, right. I'm switching between Manchester United and Arsenal. Nice. Is where I'm switching. Okay. So today I'm Manchester United. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, that's the vibe. Um, I just love it. And one thing I will say... I'm looking for a partner, so I need you to set me up. Right, I'm on it. Have you got any single friends that may want to slice this? <laughs> There's a few, yeah. Really, there yeah, is? Yeah. yeah. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. I'll be at the games like a, I don't know what, like a groupie at the side. I'll, uh, so, it's my yeah. vibe. I'll let my friends know. Thank you. Please do. Just say I'll do whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, how did you get into football? Oh, my family, I think, from like really, really young. My dad would take me to football games and... Yeah, just play football at the side of the pitch. Who's your dad support? He supports Bolton. Oh, okay. I know. Love that. A bit random. Um, but then I was like, nah, not doing that. So I went United. Love that, as you should. Mm. I feel like that's a good team to support. And the dog supports United too. Got a little scarf. He had a little jacket. I fucking love that. Yeah. I love that. It's so iconic. <laughs> How did you get into it professionally? Is it just something, because you're speaking to an idiot here, like you're just really good, you get like scouted? <laughs> um, I played for my local grassroots team and one of the coaches knew someone who worked for Man United right. Academy and then they said, go for a little trial. Um, so off I went and then, yeah, signed for them. Wow. Yeah. Easy job. Light work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you, if I tried that, they'd be like, maybe you should take the day off. <laughs> maybe don't bother. So you got the call up. To be in the England team. Yeah. Tell me how that happened. I was walking the dog <clears throat> and then got a phone call and the manager at the time, it was Phil Neville, and he was like, um, wanna wanna call you up to your first England camp. Yeah. So I was like, didn't know what to say. I was like, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. And then rang my mum and dad, they were buzzing, and then yeah, off I went. And then since that camp I've been picked for every camp since. So Were but, you nervous? Yeah, very nervous. Yeah. Like the first few camps I was really nervous, like proper shy and that, but Really? Yeah. I'm actually quite a shy person at first and then Until now the girls know. Yeah, now the girls say I don't shut up, but yeah. <laughs> at the time I was dead shy. Yeah. Well I watched a video of you on TikTok, funny enough, and it was you talking about maybe taking off your finger. But I'm unsure if you were being dramatic or not. Oh, you sound like Alessia. No. <laughs> The doctor said, if any deeper, I would have been in hospital. I've still got the scar to this day. How did you do it? So I was cutting a bagel. <laughs> yeah, okay. And my mum shouts at me for this as well, that I should just cut it. I should put it on the side and yeah. cut it. But I was holding it in my hand. Right. Don't do that. No. Holding it in my hand. And I've done that all the time. And when I get to the bottom, I stop. Anyway, right. the knife just went straight through. <laughs> Boom. Unch Blood everywhere. <laughs> And you could have died there, to be fair. I could have died, yeah. There was so much blood everywhere. I had a dramatic fingering, in, wait, not fingering, <laughs> finger incident. Um, once, when I was younger, I've still got the scar. My dad was chainsawing a bit of wood. And when I was little, like small and stuff, and I went up there and I went, stop there. As I little, thought it was a little funny joke. It went through my finger. I'm not surprised. Yeah. No, that was stupid of me, to be fair. <clears throat> You're one you can kind of get away with there because you've yeah. done it before. <laughs> I've never done it since, so yeah. No, right. I wouldn't do that either. I was Thank surprised you. you even got a finger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true, to be fair. I have all my fingers intact. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bit of an ick, really. I've just got a massive scar on my finger. Me too. Were you checking? <laughs> I, was, I was trying to find it, <laughs> it but is I was absolutely looking at the wrong still finger. There. Yeah, it's bad. Love that. What's your favourite thing about being in a, like an all-girls squad? Like, what is something <clears throat> that you love? I just love being with my mates every day. Um, yeah. And then just having banter. I feel like it just seems fun. Yeah, it is. And I feel like it does seem a lot more fun than men's teams, I'm going to say it. I don't know <laughs> if that's controversial, but you guys look a lot more happier <laughs> than the yeah. men's. They're all swearing about everywhere. I mean, because we are a group of women, Yeah, um, we, do, we don't we do like bicker a lot because to be fair, our team's really like quite together. Right. But you would think 23 girls could constantly together could be an issue. Yeah. Like at school, that's an issue now. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, but, but it's fine. Yeah, it is nice. And we do we do moan a lot, but we have a right to moan sometimes. <laughs> I moan all the time. I don't <laughs> absolutely blame you at all. Yeah, we do moan. You guys 
also I feel like changed the way people look at women's football, especially in the World Cup. It was insane. Yeah. It was absolutely insane. Everyone was fucking gagging for it. <laughs> you guys did so amazing. It was it was like even I was like, hang on a minute. This is sensational. Did you feel pressure from that? N no, I feel like when we go away on tournaments, like we don't see anything from the outside world. Like it's like we're in our own little bubble. Right. Okay. Like, and we don't really know what's going on. Like, especially in the Euros, mm -hmm. we didn't know how much of an impact we had until we, we came out of it. Wow. And then it was like, wow, like we've really changed women's football forever. Here. Yeah. And then the same in the World Cup. Like, obviously we're on the other side of the world playing yeah. in Australia. And then you come home and you realise what an impact you've just had and people are recognising you in the street and the paps are after you. Not the paps. The paps. That, that's, if I had paps trying to take photos of me, I promise you I'd be a menace. Would you love it? I'd love it. I'd be down Tesco every day, like, <laughs> doing all that. I'll stand here. Yeah, yeah. Giving it all the pout <laughs> is what I would do. Oh, no. It's not good when they catch you off guard, though. Oh, yeah. Move no makeup and a bun. <laughs> I'd like, delete it. <laughs> yeah. Delete it right now. Yeah. That's crazy. And loads of girls have started playing football and everything from it. Like, I feel like it's amazing what you guys do. Asked on my Instagram some questions for you. Oh, God. Are you ready? Only ready. good ones. Opinions on the difference in pay between male and females. It just is what it is. We know men's football is so much bigger than women's football right now. And I don't think for us as women, we ever moan about that. We don't ever want to be paid that much. It's more about like having equal opportunity. Yeah. Having the same facilities. Football is football. It's not men's yeah, and women's but. Yeah, obviously I'd like to buy like seven cars, but... I was going to say, yeah, I would love to earn like 14 million a week. Yeah, of course. If someone that said would to nice. me, would you like that? I'd be like, yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> yeah. That would be ideal. Yeah, I didn't realise the whole how different it is as well. Like it, in every way. Yeah. It's insane. It is very different. Yeah, yeah fix that. <laughs> I don't know who's watching that can do that, but fix that. <laughs> um, can you get your nails done? I always get my nails done. Come on. Yeah, I always get my nails done. You can't have them dead long though, like, because you scratch someone's you can't eye be out. In the long well, maybe that's kind of good if, if it's the opposing team. Yeah, I mean, I do scratch sometimes. Do you, oh, meow. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> do you get, like, pissed off the other teams? Like, is it actual beef? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. beef. Like, it's football, isn't it? Like, yeah. I'm having beef on the pitch. Oh, I love that. But then off the pitch, it's like, fine, it was just 90 minutes of football and now I'm, I'm now my mate, you know? Yeah, fair. Love that. You want to win. Someone said, what's your favourite position? But I'm assuming that's not to do with football, <laughs> is it? Fine. <laughs> Opinion on it being called women's football and men's football is just called football. Yeah, it's just football. Never thought of that. Oh, with the rise in fame, mm. is there any unforeseen <clears throat> challenges that you have faced? Um, bit deep, but knowing who is my friend and who's not. Yeah, yeah. Because I think like when you go from being like nothing mm. to to a bit of a name and then people want stuff from you 100 percent. it's like do you actually like me or do you just want something yeah i think so, yeah. you see that when you get bigger a lot yeah everyone wants to be your friend people come out of the woodwork oh have you had people from school <gasps> messaging you yeah i've not spoke to you for like 10 years and now you want some ticket yeah didn't you spit in my panini <laughs> once and now you want to message me <laughs> yeah have the some cheek. respect yeah the cheek <laughs> yeah that's correct that's always my favorite though it actually gives me a little bit of a yeah <laughs> I love it. This is an advertisement for better help. Right, I think it's time that we get a little bit serious. And if you know me, you know I'm not really a serious girl. It's super important to me that we open up and talk about our mental health. No matter how we're feeling, whether we're feeling happy or sad, it's always important to express your emotions. If you're anything like me, you bottle things up. I'm someone that does not like talking about how I feel, especially to sometimes my friends and family. I get a little bit awkward. That is why I'm so grateful to be working with today's sponsor, which is of course, better help better help works with over a thousand trained and licensed therapists and they are also there to help you with anything that you are going through with their unbiased advice don't get me wrong it can be great to speak to your friends and family but sometimes it's nice to speak to someone who doesn't know your ins and outs of your life uh, and just about specific topics who are trained in that area all you've got to do is fill out a quick form online and you will get matched to a licensed therapist who you can change at any given time with no added fee it is convenient so whether you have a a busy schedule you know you go to school you go to college whatever you've got kids um BetterHelp help fit 
projects around you. And it is also affordable. Sometimes it can be a bit daunting thinking how much is something going to cost. So it's amazing that BetterHelp is affordable and easy for you to use. BetterHelp is effective and thousands of people have benefited from it. Saving Grace listeners can get 10% off of their first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash saving grace. That is B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash saving grace. All lowercase and all one word to get 10% off of your first month and start talking about your feelings instead of bottling them up. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's podcast. Do you watch the edits that people make on TikTok? I do. And I really like the ones of me and Alessia because it's just they're just really cute and me and Les That's send cute. them to each other sometimes. So yeah, <laughs> yeah I do like to watch them. Yeah. People would be gassed if they knew you guys. Had I know. Now we're going to get even more sense us, aren't we? I love that you guys get nice edits. Mind <laughs> me, not. like I've got a flat arse and then music of me doing <laughs> random shit. And I'm like, thank you for that. Uh, who was your inspiration growing up? Cristiano Ronaldo. Love that. I know. Have you ever met him? No, but he did send a video to me once. Oh yeah, I was meant to meet him and we were meant to do a shoot together. But when I got there, he'd gone, was gutted, bastard. Um, so then they got him to send me a video. What did he say? Hi Ella. Not you reciting it off by heart. He said hi Ella. I right? <laughs> <laughs> can't remember the rest, but it was really nice. Saved in the camera roll. Oh, of course, of course. That's iconic. Yeah, it love is. that. When you're training, are you able to eat what you want, or is it a certain diet? <laughs> I mean, we know as footballers what we should and shouldn't eat, really. Right. Um, what shouldn't you eat? Like, you can't be eating, like, kebabs every day. I'm out. Or you can't be a footballer. I'm out. That's the only reason, obviously. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't be a footballer. Yeah, like, you can't be having, like... Can you drink? N well, no, not really. Fair. Like, you would never drink and then go to training. No, although I feel like that could be the best work. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really you might be go really good. Because <laughs> no, it's like, you know, when you're it. boxing and shit, you're not allowed to like drink for eight months <sighs> or yeah. something. That's heavy. Another reason why I am not a boxer. <laughs> Rogue questions. Do you have boob protectors like men have <laughs> ball protectors? <laughs> do they? <laughs> I thought that. They never look like <laughs> they do. That. Unsure, unsure. But no, we don't. Okay, thank you. Just to clarify Thank you that. for clarifying. Who's your favourite team, mate? What team? Manchester United. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Millie Turner. She's a, she's a good egg. Oh, yeah. that's really sweet. She she's is. a good egg. She's just a, a happy person to be around. Oh, lovely. She won't say that about me. <laughs> <laughs> that Ella Toon girl. <laughs> uh, what is the hardest part of your career mentally? <sighs> that's a tough one. I think for me is... I've always struggled with when I don't do something right, I'm my own, my own worst enemy. Right. So you like, like a perfectionist? Yeah, really yeah. bad. So yeah. if I do a bad pass, like I'm like, oh no. Do people pick up on that? Like um, fans? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The fans do, yeah. If you've had a bad game, you'll know about it on Twitter. What's the worst thing someone's ever shouted at you during a game? Oh, that's a good one, actually. Because if I had someone shouting at me, I would be crying on the pitch. <laughs> Even if they were cheering, I'd be like, I was laughing, much. to be fair. There was um, a few fans shouting like, you had you were rubbish at the World Cup, and I was like, right. But this this one what got me. What are you at. doing, Jessica? How would you do at the World Cup? I know. Yeah, you crazy. don't even play football. Yeah. Anyway, Bastard. there's one, and it, there was a chant, and it was Tuni and Lessi Rousseau. So that was like our chant, and right. people were chanting it through like the Euros, United, the World Cup, and anyway, Les left to Arsenal, mm -hmm. and uh, then when we played Arsenal, they were chanting Lotta and Lessi Rousseau. And it wasn't me. What? Do you know what I mean? It, it wasn't me. They changed my name out. The chants are extreme. They scare me. And I don't know how people I was come like, out oh, with them. That hurt. <laughs> you like the side <laughs> yeah. of the pitch. The only one I know is, um, is it a Harry Kane one? No, Harry Maguire. And they go like, Harry Maguire, Harry Maguire. He drinks the vodka. He drinks the Jaeger. His head's fucking massive. <laughs> yeah. That's all I've got up my yeah, sleeve yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, but they seem quite intense. Yeah, I mean, ours aren't yeah. as intense as that, but... Yeah, yeah if someone <laughs> said Giella Toon's head's fucking massive, I'd be <laughs> like, that's <laughs> absolutely unacceptable, yeah. Yeah. As you guys obviously know, unless you've been living under a rock, I've just been on tour and I've loved seeing you guys wearing all the merch that I sold on the tour and all the merch that is now also sold 
on today's sponsor, Shopify. What can you get on Shopify? I hear you cry. You can get this sexy size matters bag. You can get the sexy size matters tops. Comes in loads of different designs. You can get key rings. You can get water bottles. You can get anything you want, darling. And if you're like me and you've got something to sell, Shopify is the best place to do it and can help you with that. Whether you are a big brand or a small boutique, Shopify can help you sell all of your items easily. You can be selling online or in person, no matter what stage in your business you're at. Shopify even gets you selling across social media, such as Facebook, TikTok, and of course, Instagram. And I guarantee you, your Auntie Julie is going to be so impressed when she sees you selling all over the Facebook, darling. And thanks to their 24-7 help and extensive business course library, Shopify is ready to support you every step of the way. Sign up for your £1 per month trial period at shopify.co.uk slash grace. That is all lowercase, shopify.co.uk slash grace to take your business to the next level. And if you want to be like me, Get yourself onto Shopify and also go and look at my sexy merch. Thank you. Oh, how did you make the... Well, I kind of asked you this, but maybe more in depth. How did you make the jump to professional football? I was at United Academy for like seven years and there was no women's team then. Right. So we like, we had to move on. So then I made the decision to go and play for Blackburn. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's when I moved up into the first team and played like women's football for the first time. Um, and then I came back and signed a dual contract with Man City. Mm -hmm. So I was at Man City and playing for Blackburn. Um, so yeah, I think when I went to Blackburn and went into the women's team, that was when I first went. Why was there no women's football team? At United, oh, just hit the mic. No, as you um, should, go for it. At United, there was no women's football team like forever until six years ago. Is that only six years ago? Yeah, it's, all, it's, only, it's only really new, yeah, six years. No way. That's crazy. So like for all the girls who grew up in the academy like me and that, we had to like move on. That's insane. Yes. Um, how do you deal with being sexualized on the pitch? What's that mean? So like, you know, when... Um, okay, so you're playing football normally, right? And people will then just take a photo of you and be like, oh, like, look at her ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Does that bother you? <laughs> I mean, I just don't look at that stuff. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Like, yeah, some people are just a bit... Weird. Yeah, yeah, spot on. Yeah. Uh, what is it like playing against your fellow Lionesses when you play for the club? Yeah, it is good, to be fair. Um, it's always difficult because they're really good players. So <laughs> when you're playing against them, then <laughs> yeah. it's hard. Um, but yeah, I, I like it because like, I'm like, I'm not going to speak to you for 90 minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't like you now. <laughs> yeah. Have that. Do you all go for like, like drinks and stuff after? Or what's the vibe after a game? Um, it depends on the schedules, but like if people have like a day off or whatever after then sometimes we'll stay down and yeah and like go out for some nice food do you find like the traveling intense when yeah. you're going to loads of different oh yeah it's heavy like Brighton away is a long long journey and then we drew them in the FA Cup so we had to do it again really on a coach oh oh I, I, for a re I thought you'd be like on a train I didn't realize you're on a coach that's criminal coach. oh yeah it's heavy I'd be so travel sick See, I'm all right, me. I can sit backwards and that, but all the other girls coach. like being sick and that. <laughs> I would not be all right. And also, one thing as well, when you go to like hot countries, playing football in a hot country <laughs> yeah. is borderline criminal. Yeah. I will say that. It is hard work. Like when the sun comes out, it's like, wow. Because <laughs> we're not used I'm to it in Manchester. Of course not. It's always raining. But then the other day, <laughs> yeah. it was sunny and I couldn't breathe. Re yeah, this is what I mean. You're coming into summer now. Yeah. It's not got to get good. used to it. Oh, what is your playlist before a game? Oh, I'm mad at me. Like, I like a bit of like Elton John. Oh. I've really got into George Michael at the minute. What's happening right now? I did not see this from you. Oh, you didn't? No. That's well, why they never let me connect in yeah. changing rooms. <laughs> <laughs> not Elton John again. <laughs> yeah. I connected once the other day, actually. I was having a panic attack thinking, I hope everyone likes my music. <laughs> no, it's stressful. When stressful. you're on the Orcs. Oh, I was walking around thinking people like this song or not oh <laughs> you're trying to judge whether they're bobbing their head yeah or not. No, no one was bobbing their head <laughs> to george michael do you, what i would have been don't worry <laughs> um do you have any pre-match rituals that you do i used to be really superstitious but really luckily got out of that a little bit um but now it's just same knickers and sports bra every game wash them up. okay i was gonna say just to if you have that. some consecutive games <laughs> are you turning them inside out <laughs> That's I'm washing thing. them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I have like the same pre-match meal. So I have like bagel and eggs. 
You love a bagel. I do love a bagel. You're That's right, fair. Yeah. That's fair. I do love a bagel. Sesame seed bagel. Oh, yeah. You can't be fucking with the uh, <laughs> main one. That's no, not on. boring. Uh, how do you celebrate a win? Because the Euros was iconic. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good night. We celebrated that properly. But like, you can't celebrate all your wins because you've got, you've got training the day after. That's true. So you can't like proper, proper celebrate. But the Euros was different because... <laughs> That was just the Euros. Something else, yeah. Do you have, you know, when you score a goal, do you have a set, a set move? I want one. Right. Because I want like girls to score in the backyard and do the tune celebration. That would be iconic. But I, I can't, I can't think of one that is me. So I'm not rushing into anything. I think what you need to do is you need to get in front of a mirror, right? Practice. Get your kit on <laughs> and just do loads of different moves. mm and see what looks good is what I would suggest to I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I, Even I would if it's do a little twerk. Oh, I'm not sure about I that. I could get down with that. <laughs> I can't twerk. Yep, neither can I. <laughs> I think that's why it could be iconic. Yeah. I, think I, I definitely need to that. practice something. But like in the moment, like just start doing mad stuff. Like just like arms are everywhere. <laughs> I think that looks cool though. Like at the World Cup, everyone was laughing because I celebrated, but I did about seven different like things <laughs> in one. <laughs> I was like kissing there, yeah. kissing there, doing that, like you were jumping. Having, like, a fit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> You've got YouTube and TikTok. Do you enjoy making content? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do like it. It just shows me away from football, and yeah. people can connect to me, connect with me away from that, mm -hmm. um, and just shows that I'm a normal person. Yeah. I love that you love TikTok as well. My roots. You love it. I do. I do. Big scroll. Do you like a trend? Those dance trends, though, can't do any of that. Neither can I. No. I will get bullied online, <laughs> and that's not ideal. No, we don't want that. <laughs> no. You, I feel like... That loads... Who's... There's this one girl, and I want to say she plays for Chelsea, and she's she does TikTok consistently. Oh. Do you know her on about blonde? Millie Bright? I'm going to say Millie, Millie Bright. Bright. Yeah. There's a few, to be fair, who are good at... Good at TikTok. Like Mary Earps is queen of TikTok. Mary Earps. Loves a TikTok. Love Mary Earps. Never yeah. matter. Uh, you'd like her, yeah. You would, would I? Yeah, you'd get on. Oh, fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your favourite content to make on YouTube? I think just like the day in the life. Like yeah. when I come down to London, I'm with Les or whatever. People love seeing me and Les together. So that's always good. And it's easy to make because you're just with your mate having fun. Uh, but those day in the life's just showing me away from football Coming to London, doing appearances and stuff like that. What is uh, your average day? Wake up. Yeah. Uh, get into footy. Right. Traffic's a nightmare. What time are we talking about? Well, some days run at 10, some days run at 9. So 9 o'clock, say. Fine. Setting my alarm at about half seven because traffic's a nightmare from mine. Okay. Get in, get changed, have breakfast. It's gorgeous. Bagel? Bagel. Knew it. Or sourdough, I treat myself sometimes. Okay, as you should. And then have a meeting, get in the gym. Mm -hmm. go out to train come back in gym again oh yeah and then have some food and, and go on what are you doing in the gym like cardio no like weights weights yeah can you not tell yeah come on <laughs> I come on can't, twice in a day well before training isn't like big heavy weights it's like right. getting ready for training you know stretching and yeah do you know what you do need a pain rise because that's crazy <laughs> yeah. that's insane wow does anyone really hate it or is everyone just used to it I mean, it's not, gym's not like the most favourite thing ever, no. Oh, yeah, don't um, I know. So yeah, I think some people don't like it, but some people love it. Fair. Big heavy lifters. Oh, you're going to live a long life. I feel like your body's being treated like a temple. <laughs> yeah, but my back feels about 82. Oh my God, yeah, that's fair. Lifting. Is there a specific injury that footballers get? Because you know, like, athlete's foot. Is that a thing? Oh, it's a thing, yeah. Right. I think I've had it. Oh, really? But I don't think it's because I was an athlete. I don't know. Sweaty socks and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can uh, see that. I don't know. With injuries, there's loads of different ones, to be fair. And yeah, everyone depends on your body and that. And Could be good for future ad like ads, though. When you're like 70, Zimmer frame ad. <laughs> you can be straight on that. <laughs> yeah. I want to cut from that if you do get it. That was my idea. <laughs> you made a vid of your nan recently. Yeah. How's that? Nana Mars. Go on. She thinks she's TikTok famous. Every time <laughs> I see her, she's like, how many followers have I got? <laughs> yeah, loves it. She can't see or can't hear, so she doesn't even know what the video is, but she knows she's got TikToks, uh, TikTok followers. 
I love that. Yeah. It, honestly, though, I go to games and there's loads <laughs> of signs. Yeah. And they're all like, how's your nan, Ella? Like, all asking about her. It's nice, really. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're obsessed with my nan. Are you going to do any future vids? Yeah, I think I'm going to get her on it again. But sometimes when I'm talking to her, she's like, you better not be recording me, Ella. Because <laughs> she can't see no. if you're recording her. She not know. Her. So, nan, I'm not. Can you, <laughs> can you teach her football? She taught me, to be fair. Oh, did yeah. she? Like, she was, like, one of the first ones, like... She, well, she put a bet on, like, when I was, like, tiny, like, little... Mm. Just starting out, she put a bet on, went to the bookies and said, uh, my granddaughter will play for England one day. Oh, I bet she's rolling in it. Rolling in it. Now. She's got Roll 50 quid or something. Oh, I'd be fuming. She's got a bit more money. <laughs> and, and she gave me some. Oh, bless her. She gave me some, my brother some, and my cousin some. So, so you, that your family is just proper football? Yeah. Wow. Like my mum was a gymnast, so my dad played water polo. So What is going on right now? I know. You're from such like an athletic family. Just a proper sporty family, yeah. Uh, Jesus, my mum's a gardener. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't get any of that from her. That's sick though. I love yeah. that. You and your boyfriend both play. Are you competitive with each other? Oh yeah, really bad. Yeah. Like one of our first dates, we played table tennis. And like, you've oh, seen wow. all these people on dates, like they were all next to us. Like, I was sweating. I was running around the room. I was like, <laughs> yeah. like it was Giving really intense. Everyone was staring at us like, what on earth is going on there? But Fair. it was really intense. But yeah, it, we are very competitive. Did yeah. you meet from being in the sort of same career? No, like when we met, I didn't know he played football and he didn't know I played football. So that was, oh, amazing. That was nice, yeah. How long have you been together? <sighs> Don't really know. Um, I should keep <laughs> was it. Was that good? <laughs> yeah. Was that good? <laughs> Feels like forever. Um, probably, yeah, since the Euros, a bit before the Euros. Wow, that is a shift. Yeah. Love that. How did it feel winning the Euros and do you remember the moment? Oh, yeah, I remember the moment. Um, it felt unbelievable. Like, yeah. it was like, one. Of, it was honestly the best day of my life and... I watch videos back and I get goosebumps from yeah. when the final whistle went. And I remember the, f I remember the final whistle went and me and Les were luckily right next to each other. So like we ran to each other Aww. and celebrated. And oh, honestly, like I felt every single emotion in in like one. Did it feel like you were having an out of body experience? Because sometimes when something good happens, it feels like you can't take it all in. Yeah, it felt like that. Like I was screaming because I was so happy, but then we was crying. Yeah, like it was. It you was honestly mad. Seven stages of grief. <laughs> yeah, in all in one. thirty minutes. <laughs> How was it when Alessia left Man United? Do you miss her or see her much? Yeah, I mean, it was really sad, but that's football. Like people move on and stuff. So we text every single day. Uh, Do you? Yeah, we Facetime a lot, and then when I come to London, I get to see her, which is nice. Yeah, um, we're starting a little thing together as well, which is really exciting. So. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I'm in London. When's that? Oh, can't tell you. No, I think next <laughs> month it's uh, it's going to come out. So Eyes peeled in April. Yeah, get ready, girls. Are you boys. working on anything else that you want to share? Yeah, I've started ET7, uh, my own brand. Uh, that. So yeah, loads of exciting things coming with that. Um, hopefully, yeah, everything starts starts coming out soon. And You're basically Chris Jenner. I'm, I'm trying. As you should. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, what's your go-to drink on a night out? You know what I love? A strawberry daiquiri. Oh. Frozen. Classy girl. But that's more when I'm in the sun, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I'm on a night out, I like an orange gin and lemonade. And Okay, okay. For a minute there, I thought you meant orange juice with gin. No, and no. We I, were about to have words. No, no, that's disgusting. Okay. Orange gin, like blood orange gin. Nice. With yeah. what? Lemonade. Love that. Do you like a vodka cranberry? I don't like vodka. Okay. That is an issue. Is that your drink? What you're going to do <laughs> on your next night out is you're going to order a vodka cranberry. Okay. And then get back to me. I'll let you know. On how much you loved that. Okay. Because you can't taste the vodka. Right. That's good. Yeah. I like the drinks where you can't taste yeah. the alcohol. That's what you're going to do. And if you hate it, actually don't blame me. <laughs> Who's the lioness you go to if you ever need cheering up? Um. Well, less. Yeah, I think everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. I spend every day with us when I'm on camp. So. Valid. I feel like that was a stupid question <laughs> from me. This one, this is going to toot your horn. <laughs> you were the only England player, male or female, to have scored in a quarterfinal, semi-final and final of a major international tournament. How does that feel? Yeah, that's amazing. 
I mean, like to be the first person to ever do that, like how mental that no is. one can beat that. Yeah. Your if that was me, every room I'd walk into, that's my opening line. Oh, you tell everyone straight yeah. up. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, you had a hard day. Well, <laughs> Well, do you know what I've done? <laughs> yeah. And then they couldn't say anything else. Might put it in my Insta bio. I think you should. It's going to be a long Insta bio. <laughs> yeah, it is. Long Insta bio. Love that though. Yeah. I must be insane. It is, yeah. Like when I first found out that, I was like, wow, like all them England players who have played before me mm -hmm. and I've managed to do that in, in tournaments is, yeah, Love crazy, it. isn't it? I mean, it's a, it was a dream come true. Obviously, I was at United for seven years mm -hmm. and there was no women's team to look up to. So then when it finally came around that there was going to be... It's like a full circle moment. A team, yeah. yeah. I was like, I, I, I would love to come back home and play for my child. You meet club. a lot of young girls that support United and want to be like you when they oh, grow yeah. up. Yeah, I meet Lowe's and I obviously get a lot of messages as well off yeah. people and people saying that they want to play for Manchester United one day. And yeah. Yeah, it's really nice to, so to hear. Great. If you have kids, are you going to get them into football? Oh, 100%. I won't force them. No, but... But, yeah, you're playing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, um, i definitely love them to play football, but if they didn't want to, then that, that's all right too. Say they go, Mum, um, I actually just want to do the West End, I want to be Peter Pan. Is that going to fly too? I'd be that's there fun. in the crowd, number one fan. Love that. Great answer. <laughs> what do you want to do in the future when you're not playing football anymore? Yeah, I've actually probably not thought about it as much as I should. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> football's a short career. Um, <laughs> but I would probably like to stay in football in some kind of way, whether that's yeah. punditry or, or something like that. Um, what does that word mean? Oh, like commentating on Oh, football. okay, okay, yeah. fine. Not like, I'm good at talking about football, so I should be all right at that. I feel like you've got the voice for that too. I you can reckon? see that, yeah. I can feel you getting riled up. <laughs> yeah. I could see that. Getting mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to go on I'm a Celeb. I feel like you'd smash I'm a Celeb. Oh, I'm not sure. Can you deal with insects and stuff though? Yeah, but probably not like thousands at once. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kangaroo balls. I think that my, my only problem on that whole thing would be drinking stuff. Yeah, there's I no I can't way. swallow a tablet. No. We were just having this conversation. But I've learned a trick the other day. Okay. Would you swallow your tablet like that? Um, I would just put it in my mouth and just drink. So maybe, yeah, my head is back. Yeah, well, yeah. that closes your throat, so do that. So I must get a straw. You don't have to get a straw, but just swallow when you're like that. Oh, you know what fine. I mean? It's, it's proper working look. for me. Is it? That actually works? Yeah, yeah, because I, oh, I can't do it, me. You've changed my life. I was saying earlier about eating oysters and you have to swallow them whole. Oh. And it's an internal battle. Yeah, I don't they're know so big. do that. <laughs> yeah. You ever tried an oyster? Nah. Try it. Well, you've got to try in all sorts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jesus, you're going to leave this pod with a list. <laughs> um, lots of things football players aren't allowed to do, such as skiing mm. and extreme sports. Is there something you want to do that you're not allowed to do? Probably skiing. That would be nice. Right. See all these people like in like lovely places, skiing and snowboarding yeah. and all that. But no, not I can't do that right now. It's hard, dangerous. though. Have you tried, yeah? Skiing's not for me. I went once... And I had this instructor called Fanny in Austria. Genuinely, her mm. name was Fanny. And um, I had one lesson and she said, do you know what? I don't think you're cut out for this. Wow, she didn't have belief, did she? No, she didn't. But to be honest with you, fair. <laughs> Absolutely fair. I'll just drink up the top of a mountain. Would you skydive? Yeah, would you know? Would you? I'd be petrified, but I think I would. Would you bungee jump? Yeah, why not? Sick individual. I'm just saying now. I've bungee jumped, not by choice. And it was the worst experience <laughs> I've ever done in but my life. But you can say that you've done that. Yeah. Not many people have done that. Yeah, yeah. It was absolute horror. I felt like my body was leaving itself. <laughs> yeah, it was absolute horror. But if you do it, do it for the YouTube. Oh, imagine. That would get some, some like. That would get the clicks, 100%. <laughs> um, so <coughs> as part of Saving Grace, I like to ask my guests, what is one thing, one bit of advice you would give to me? To save Grace. I save love Grace that every, from what? Just life, life from advice. Life. There's a lot I need saving from, <laughs> to be honest with right. you. There's a lot going on. I think um, mm. Grace. Yep. Enjoy every moment. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. I don't Fine. know what I'm saving you from there, but just enjoy every moment, you know? Enjoy life. Yeah. Yeah. Because it passes by too quick. 
Oh, that is a good one. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. Love that. And please remember when you do go home, any of your single friends. I will. I'll let them know. Um, please do. If they want a woman that looks like a praying manta <laughs> and could snap at any point, <laughs> hit me up on Instagram. Would you do the commute? Yeah. Right then, I'll let, I'd I'll get let them a know. Plane. All right, I'll let them know. A mini bus, a car. <laughs> I don't know what other modes. A train. Anything. I'd do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, you I'll let them get know you that. Some options too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take a list. Thank you for watching. If you've been watching, give it a like and subscribe. And if you've been listening, give it a follow and a five star review. Bye. Bye. Bye.